Hey guys, what's up? It's Asylum Reviews here. Welcome you back to Would You Rather. Uh, Richard is not here with me today. He is at school at the moment. Uh, I am on winter break from college. So, I felt like making another video for you guys. So, here we are in part two, or episode two, whatever you want to call it, of Would You Rather. Um, hopefully I don't get the anything too difficult this time around and maybe it doesn't take me that long to answer these questions so here we go would you rather have your current pet live as long as you do or bring a past pet back to life that is a good question and then at the bottom it says in both cases the pet would be perfectly normal and healthy um Wow. All the pets I've had, I love them to death. And, you know, they're they're everything I've ever wanted. So, you know. And I love Rainy. I mean, who doesn't? She's like the sweetest dog ever. Just she doesn't bark. She, she only growls and play with her. And yeah, she's just, just, a, she's just an amazing dog. I would love to bring back my old dog Spike. He died too young. Um, Rocky, he was another great dog. He just never misbehaved. Uh, Jasmine, I didn't know too much about my pit bull Jasmine, but I knew for a fact she was a great dog. Uh, however, if you bring a past pet back to life, does that mean you get to keep the pet you have now? Or do like they never exist? That's my question on that. I think I'll stick with just Rainy. I mean, yeah, I don't want, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to be mean or anything, but like, I think I just keep Rainy. Yeah, see. I think I think this would only make sense if you like don't have a pet at all at the moment, but you had one before, so I think that would be a logical choice for people who don't have pets at the moment. If you could live in the movie plot as a character, would you rather experience Ferris Bueller's day off as Ferris or experience sixteen? I'm just gonna skip that because I have no idea what that is, so okay. Would you rather Got to prison for five. I'm supposed to say go. Go to prison for five years or watch every episode of Full House. Full House, man. Are you kidding me? Who doesn't love Full House? I was like one of my favorite shows when I was when I was younger. Yeah, well, who, who the hell would want to go to prison for five years? For what? That's that's just stupid. Uh, Know a few things about everything or know everything, but only a few things about it. Uh, I do kind of see what this is referring to. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. I think I'll go with the first one. Let's see. Yeah. Great. Great on that. Um, we did this one in the first part. <laughs> I don't know why that's still there. Yeah, you, you sometimes get uh, the same question twice, so... Be attacked by 50 duck-sized horses or be attacked by one horse-sized duck? Um. Ooh. Be attacked. Uh, if it's just one, I mean, you could just run away from it, but it literally says you're being attacked, so you can't avoid it. So... But then this one says by 50 duck-sized horses. So these would be just little horses, but this is just a big motherfucker horse, so... I don't know. 50? Yeah, that's logical. If you could only do one of these in your lifetime, would you rather find true love or cure cancer? I... Oh, God. That's where it hits me. Uh... That's where it really hits me. 
See, I don't want to be a dick or anything, but if I say find true love, then people are going to say, oh, like, you don't care about people who have cancer. And of course I do. I mean, Angry Grandpa had it before he passed, but he beat it, you know? So, I mean, yeah, it would, it would be cool to cure cancer, but if you cure cancer, then do you just stay single? Like, it doesn't even mention that. I mean, I don't know. This, this, I think this includes every type of cancer. Okay. I mean, have people really cured cancer before? I don't know. Ah, uh, please don't hate me on this. Ah. Uh. Okay. I'm just gonna move on from that. Always have bad hair, always have bad teeth. Bad hair, I mean, who would want to have just like, you know, messed up crooked teeth or all yellow teeth? That's disgusting. Bad hair, you mean you could just, you know, if you had bad hair, you could just uh, take a shower, put gel in it, or cut it, so. Hair's not a problem. Yeah, see. Would you rather yell a swear between every word or get punched in the face by every swear? This is basically referring to the to Tourette's. Because... You know, that's basically what it is. People who swear a lot. Um, uh, or get punched in the face every time you swear. That's, okay, so here's the difference. At the bottom says they have, they're both hard punches, so, okay. But this is the difference if you really want to understand what's going on here. So if you yell a swear between every word, then that's basically saying you have threats. Just right off the bat. However, if you get punched in the face with every swear, then... That means that you just can't curse at all anymore unless you feel like you, you think you're tough enough to take a punch to the face. Hard punches. So, I think I'd rather threats. Uh, apparently people want to have black eyes. <laughs> okay. Play dodgeball or play four square? Um, I play dodgeball a lot. In high school and elementary school. That's fun. Fourth square, I don't really play it too often, but I did play it a couple times when I was little. Uh, I go. With, I think I go with dodgeball because I played it more. Yeah. All right. Would you rather be a very fat and ugly person with a ton of friends that will never get someone of the opposite sex, or be a very skinny and attractive person that has no friends but can get any person the opposite sex you want? This is more like me, because I am, am, I'm not very, very skinny, but I am, um, you know, I do have muscle on me, because I work out a lot at the gym, so, and I'm not obese, so, uh, okay, so I, I see what it's saying here, be fat and ugly, have a ton of friends, but you can never find true love, but skinny, attractive, you have no friends, but the only friend you have is just the one that you love, of the person you love, so, I get that, I, I think I can go with this one, yeah, one million, oh my god, over a million people agree with that, and 279,000 disagree, okay, I, I get that at all, I, be stoned to death or be grounded, um, be grounded? Wait, buried in the ground, up to your neck, and tortured. Oh, uh, I, I thought this was referring to, like, punishment. Oh. Stone and death. Ah, oh, man. So, would I rather be turned to stone, or just buried in the ground? Does this mean I have to be alive for this? Because at the bottom it says, buried in the ground, up to your neck, and tortured. That's that has to mean that you're still alive. So this is like death right here. But then this one, yeah, I think you're already dead, so yeah. What? I am really confused by that. People would rather be tortured than just be turned to stone. These sick motherfuckers these days. 
be forced to watch TV all the time or not watch TV at all. I I watch TV all the goddamn time for wrestling, for cartoons, for um, just anything, movies, you, you name it. Not watch TV at all. Um, no, this is basically saying like give life, give life up on wrestling. So fuck that. Um, yeah, people have their own opinions, so I really don't see a problem with that. Work at McDonald's, work at Burger King. McDonald's. Yeah. Um, if you want to ask me that, then yes, I prefer McDonald's and Burger King because I've eaten McDonald's a lot more than Burger King. I do like both places, but McDonald's is the logical choice and the better choice because I have a friend who works at McDonald's. So yeah. Be a, oh God, be, be a gangster or be a Freemason. What's a Freemason? Hmm. I would like to know what that is. Uh, hmm. I really don't want to be a fucking gangster. I don't want to be in a gangs or no whatever, but... Yeah. Okay. Have every song you ever listened to turn into Neon Cat? Or have every movie you ever watched turn into Badgers, Badgers, Badgers? The change would be both abrupt and inevitable. I think maybe Neon Cat's better. Yeah. I knew it. Have your stomach pulled out of your mouth. What the hell? Or have your brain pulled out of your eye socket. Oh my god. Who comes up with this? Who comes up with this kind of shit? That is just... Ugh. They're both gruesome. All while still alive and fully conscious. Oh my god. You sick fucks. Uh. Oh my god. I really don't know how to respond to this. They're both fucking awful. Oh god. Oh my god. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> ah. I don't know, man. Ah. Uh, ah, shit. Whatever. Live in a treehouse or live in a floating boathouse? Treehouse. Yeah. You don't want to drown. Somehow happens. Own a horse in the city or own a cat in the country? Horse? Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to do a few more here and then I'll just wrap up the video. Uh, would you rather never have to grocery shop again or never have to do laundry again? I say laundry because I don't really do it that much. I, You know, my dad does it for me, so... Uh. If I never have to grocery shop again, then that means I just don't have food at all, so that means I'm poor, and I don't want to be like that. Would you rather get killed by your boyfriend slash girlfriend, or get killed by your best friend? Oof. You're putting me on the spot here, bro. And look what it says at the bottom, if you can see that. Backstabber. Oh, God. Why? I don't want either. Kill by your boyfriend, kill by your girlfriend, or kill by your best friend. Oh my god. I don't know. What's worse? I say probably your best friend. Especially if you've known him for so long, but then. Oh, this, is the, this could be the same scenario because you, you, you might have known him forever. Uh, I'm just going to choose randomly. I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna close my eyes and just choose. Okay, people would rather get killed by their boyfriend and girlfriend. All right. Uh, would you rather fight a wolf with your bare hands or fight a large bear with a sword? A sword. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Have a conversation with Yoda for ten minutes or punch Jar Jar Binks for an hour. 
<laughs> uh, I think it'd be fun to punch Jar Jar Binks for an hour. Uh, I mean, Yoda is pretty cool. We all know him from Star Wars. And his, you know, crazy voice. But I like punching a lot of things. <laughs> so, yeah. There's that. Alright, this will be the last one. Listen to one great song per week, or listen to as much... I don't know what that says. Quote, quote, music as you want. Alright, we'll skip that, because I have no idea what that says. This will be the last question. Why, I don't I have no idea why this is highlighted in blue. <laughs> Would you rather be slapped full force by a UFC fighter, or be full force to lick a dog turd? <laughs> oh, that's gross. Uh... I'm a man of my words, and, you know, I've been hit in the face many times, so, yeah, okay. There you have it, guys. Uh, I'm going to end it right here. Hope you enjoyed uh, part two or episode two of Would You Rather. I'll be back once shortly, once again. Hopefully, I'll have Richard uh, for, ep for episode three. We'll see. We'll see what we do. Um... I'm going to try to see if I can uh, maybe do a double upload today. And maybe we could find another game to play. Um, depends on what I want to do, though. Uh, if you guys want me to play any more PC, uh, play, uh, some, some PC games of yours, or, like, you know, you want to, like... Um, you want to just give me an option of what game you want me to play on the PC, then just let me know, and I'll... Uh, I'll gladly do that for you. Um, it's, it don't let it be a game that I'll like hate on, or I just don't want to play. So, just letting you know. Uh, but yeah, um, that's gonna be it. So that's all I got for you. Uh, please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Um, and just remember to RKO that like button out of nowhere. I'll see you all next time.